Hi everyone and welcome to another segment of New to Your Mac. New to a Mac, getting started on a Mac, the newbie show. We, we got all kinds of names for this segment. Today we're going to take a look at the dock. You've purchased your Mac, maybe it's your first computer or you're switching from Windows and you've gone through the setup process and you're greeted with a screen that looks pretty much like this. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of empty space and a lot of things going on at the bottom. We're going to talk about those today and learn all about Mac OS X's dock. So when you're looking at your desktop as it's known, the, the screen in which the OS opens, along the bottom you're going to see a bunch of icons here and this is what's known in Apple parlance as the dock. And essentially each one of these icons represents a different program on your Mac. Now this is not by any means all of the programs on your Mac but it comes preloaded with some of the most popular. For example iTunes. And you'll notice as I mouse over each one of these icons I'm getting a little uh, text blurb telling me exactly which program that icon represents. So I'm going to go ahead and open up iTunes and you do that by single clicking on any of those icons in the dock. What I want to point out to you is one of the drawbacks to the dock is that it's actually quite large in terms of screen real estate by default. And so here's my iTunes window but you see if I just move it down a little bit it's starting to get obstructed by the dock. So one of the first things I want to talk about with the dock is what we can do about sizing it. A couple different ways we can do that. First of all if we go over here to the right hand side of the dock you're going to see this line here that separates the dock into two areas. Now on the left side of that uh, those are all the application icons. As for the right side we'll talk about that a little bit later. But if you click and hold on this line itself you notice my mouse changes to this little line with two arrows. So if I click and hold my mouse and then move down or up I can make the dock bigger or smaller. Great you say, so let's make it smaller. Well at some point it gets too small to actually be able to see what's going on. But Apple's created a neat little function here to let you still be able to get to all your programs. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go up to the top left corner where you see the Apple logo. We're going to click on that. A lot of people new to Mac don't realize that's actually a menu. Single click on that and you'll see there's a dock option here and we'll get to all the options but right now we're going to worry about turn magnification on. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you'll notice when I bring the mouse down and go over the dock it expands and allows me to see each icon very easily but it's only doing this as I mouse over. So once I take the mouse away the dock gets smaller. I can make this more obvious by shrinking it as small as it'll go and now when I mouse over those icons are nice big size that is easy for me to see. Well this is all well and good if you want to have the dock at the bottom of the screen. However there are times in certain applications where maybe you're doing a lot at the bottom of the screen. For example we use Final Cut, uh, Final Cut Pro rather here a lot and so there are a lot of controls at the very bottom. So you might want to put the dock on the left or right hand side of the screen. And to do that we do the same thing. Click on the Apple up in the upper, hand, upper left hand corner. Go to dock and it's just as easy as position on left, moves the dock to the left, or position on right if you'd rather have it on the other side. And there is one more option because frankly the dock still can take up a lot of room depending on how you're using it. So let's move it back to the left hand side which is where I personally prefer to have it. And now I'm going to go in here and turn hiding on. Uh oh, the dock's gone. What am I going to do? Am I going to call Apple Care? No. Uh, if you take your mouse and just mouse over to the side of the screen where you last left the dock, you'll notice that it comes back up. And it's quite magnified right now because I have magnification still turned on. So, just like that, you can hide the dock, you can reposition the dock, and make it work for you. And make it work easier, which is the whole reason you got your Mac, right? Okay, so that's it for this segment, and uh, tune in again. We'll cover some more great tips for those of you who are new to a Mac. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.